Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Patricia. So, this is my first time trying Harper James Wax. I have heard all the wax people just ranting and raving over it, so I decided to give it a try. So it's just a little tiny box. This was just some leftovers from, I guess, a previous, um, oh, what do you call it, when they have the mad race of buying everything pre-order. So I just got some leftovers that were, you know, still available. So we have a, this is a cute little thank you um, card. So we've got that. And box is smelling good already. So, and then she has like little decoration in for the holidays. Super cute. So let's get into it. So like I said, just got what's available because I'm late. So this is called I'd Rather Not. And we all know this is the bread blend. And it has um, the notes of fresh baked bread and pretzel. So you guys know I love me some bread. So, okay. It's good. Um, I do get a little more pretzel than I thought I would. I'm not the biggest pretzel fan, but I was mostly getting this for the bread. Now, let me see if these actually smell any different. I don't think they do. You know, sometimes with um, other vendors, people wonder, oh, does this, is this the bread and this the pretzel? You know what I mean? Smell the same to me, just cute decoration. So we'll see how this does on warm. Um, let me know, guys. I know a lot of you are fans of this um, wax company. Let me know about cure times and stuff. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of doing cure times, you know, because I'm impatient. But let me know if you have to cure these or no. Next one is Cloud Nine. This is white jasmine, rose, amber, um, cotton, and I think this says cashmere. It's like white writing against, um, against this pink. I think it says cashmere. I'm getting ready to put the readers on. This is an after work video, y'all. My eyes is tired. Okay, white jasmine, rose, amber, cotton, and cashmere. I think I did say cashmere, but that's what it looks like. Super pretty. Come on, I'm expecting girly goodness. Oh, yeah, this is good. Uh, mm. You get the jasmine up front. You get that rosiness. This is really pretty. Amber. Really, really pretty. Once again, super cute. I like this one a lot. Mm. And I don't think it's going to be too girly where if I put it on in the room where my son, you know, spends most of the day, you know, gaming and stuff, I don't think he'd be offended by it. Like, it's just, you know, it's not that super girly. You know what I mean? So, liking that one. Next is Coastal Waters. Just trying to take the decoration off. This is ozone, jasmine, marine water, cedar wood, and dark amber. Super excited for this. You guys know I love me a manly smelling fragrance. So let's see what we got. I'm thinking maybe it'll be comparable to Scentsy's Dark Harbor. So let's see. Oh, I like this better. I think it is the, what is it? It might be that ozone note. It's kind of giving it a uh, more of a slightly kind of perfumey, not really perfumey, but I don't know. Kind of almost like after shavy, fresh out the shower vibe. I like this one a lot. It almost gives like a saltiness too. Maybe that's the marine water. This is really, really nice. Like this a lot. And these cubes are huge. I'm wondering if I can just cut this. I guess I can do one in each warmer. 
I might I want to cut it in half though. Um uh, let me know guys. Do you guys usually cut these in half and put a piece in your warmers? Cause a lot of you guys are like me. You have multiple warmers in one room. I have four warmers in um my family room, four warmers in my living room. I I'm thinking I could probably just cut these in half since I have so many warmers in close proximity of each other. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, I have a brittle. This is wrapped up very nicely with a little thank you. So let's see. Ooh, trying to, I guess I'll just slide it out because it's taped very well. And brutal's broken, we don't care. We're gonna break it anyway. Um, this is called Crystal Clean. Um, the scent notes are clean cotton and pink sugar. We can't go wrong with that, right? You get both of those. Now I'm getting more clean cotton than I am pink sugar. This is what it looks like. I am getting a little more pink sugar. But to me, it's more clean cotton forward and then pink sugar is kind of in the back. This is nice though. This is yet again another one that I could put on and I don't think the men would be offended by it even though it's a pink sugar, typical girly fragrance. I think that that cotton is breaking up that sweetness enough where it's just a nice fragrance. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot and for these I'm sure I could do two cubes in each warmer and be just fine so that is crystal clean um, I have another little six pack this is called dancing queen I was super excited about this it's black plum lily jasmine and sandalwood what is not to like in this combo I'm thinking sexiness. Woo! That is just giving you perfume right off the bat. But there's a green note in here. What is that? Is it the... Uh, something's giving me a green note, you guys. know I'm not the biggest fan of green fragrances. There's a green note in here, almost like a plant stem. And I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, duh, Lily. That Lily is really giving me a green note, but I do get the sandalwood, the plum, I get everything else. So I'm really hoping that once this warms, that everything else will kind of take over that green note. I like it, I don't love it. And that's just because I don't like green. Okay. It's nice though. Uh, like I said, if, if everything else can overtake that green note once this is warm, I will be a happy camper, but uh, things on warm are a lot different than smelling things on cold. So there you have it. Do we have anything else? Like I said, this was a teeny tiny order. So I've got, I know I have one sample. Do I have anything else? Just trying to dig through real quick. No, I don't. Oh, I have a second sample. Okay, so I got two samples. Alrighty. And does it say on here what they are? Um, so it doesn't say what they are. Oh, here it is. Okay, so Christmas cocoa. It's a sample I got. So. I like these little cups. These are really cute. And it smells like cocoa. Okay. Uh, it smells like cocoa with like a little bit of peppermint in it though. I don't know what the notes are. I will, mm. yeah, you can definitely smell the peppermint. I will put the notes, um, if I can find the notes, I will go ahead and put the notes on the screen for you. And last, oh, 
I'm so excited. Lastly, we have strawberries at Tiffany's. You guys know most people in Waxdom, we love some um, breakfast, well, breakfast um, cupcakes at Tiffany's. So let's see. I'm assuming this is going to be a fudgy with strawberries on top type of vibe. Yep, that is exactly what I am getting. It's like a chocolate dessert and you can smell the strawberries on top. This is nice. Okay. This is really, really nice. Mmm. Come on, strawberries at Tiffany's. This is excellent. Wow. If you're a uh, Tiffany's fan, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, this is definitely one to check out. So that's it, everybody. Like I said, it was like the teeniest, tiniest haul ever. I just wanted to get my hands on some of this wax since you guys have raved over it so much. I only got um, five items. Um, I got the brownie bags and then I got one snap bar. Like I said, it, there wasn't a whole lot to choose from, but you know, for the things that I liked, so I just went ahead and got what I could get. Um, I will be excited to warm through this and see what, um, how it performs. So comment below if you are a Harper James wax fan and let me know your thoughts on this wax house um, performance, all that stuff, cure time, if any is needed. Let me know your thoughts. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.